Today's video is going to be about adjusting vehicle settings in your taser menu and why you want to do a full reboot and two sleep cycles to solidify those changes. We're going to show you how that's done. We're going to be using three of our models here. We're going to start over here with our 2021 Dodge Ram TRX and we're going to adjust the DRLs, which is vehicle setting. We also have our Dodge Challenger over there, and we're gonna be using our Wrangler Rubicon. That way you'll have a couple examples of how it looks in your vehicle model and how to go about the process. So the very first thing you'll need to do is make sure your taser is married to your vehicle. You can't get into the vehicle settings unless the taser is married to the vehicle. To access your vehicle settings, just put the vehicle to run. You don't need the ignition on, so don't have your foot on the brake. Once it's in run, you can go to your taser menu by holding down your left arrow and your cruise cancel button. Now in the vehicle settings, there's plenty of options to choose from. You can read your diagnostic trouble codes. You can clear them here. You can unmarry your taser here. You could get to some performance options. You can change stuff in your tire pressure system, but we're gonna be in our lighting menu. In the lighting menu, we're gonna scroll to our daytime running light location. Here we have the options of none, low beam, or turn signal. So for this example, let's set our daytime running light location to our low beams. You see here it says low beams. So now we're gonna exit out of the menu by holding the left arrow and our cruise cancel button. Keep pressing it until you get to full reboot. Our reboot is gonna solidify this option into our taser and into the vehicle. Now go slow so you don't miss it. There it is, full reboot. Hit your center cruise control button while still holding down your left arrow and it will start the reboot. The reboot for this vehicle takes about 150 seconds. Now that our reboot is done and the car is off, we're now gonna open our door. We're gonna close our door. This is gonna count as our first sleep cycle, but only after both screens are fully off. So this one just shut off. We're still waiting for this one. Sometimes it does take a while. Now that one's off, that counts as our first sleep cycle. Now that both screens are off, we're actually gonna turn the car back on. Wait for both screens to fully turn back on. See this one's in a loading screen at the moment. This one's in its loading screen. This is fully back on, our Uconnect is on, and this is on. Of course, the other option to do a sleep cycle would be to shut off your car and then walk away from your vehicle for about a minute or so. This tells the car that the key's not in it anymore. You're going to sleep, it's going to sleep. But I'm showing you from the inside to show you exactly what happens with the screens and that everything needs to turn off fully as your sleep cycle. So for our second sleep cycle, let's do it again. Everything's on, so let's shut it off. Let's open and close our door again, waiting for both screens to turn off. This one generally shuts off first, which it just did, and now we just need to wait for this one. Now that both sleep cycles went through after a reboot, our daytime running lights should be our low beams. Now there might be one setting we need to change in the Uconnect, so let's check that first before we check outside to see if our daytime running light is in fact our low beam. So let's turn the car on and then head over to our settings in our Uconnect. Here in our settings, we're just gonna head over to the lighting menu here and make sure that daytime running light is in fact turned on. Now that it's on, we should be able to hop outside And then now you see our low beams are in fact our daytime running lights with these as well. 
So that's how to do a full reboot and two sleep cycles using the Taser DT on the TRX. Okay, so we're over here in our Dodge Challenger. We're gonna change something in our vehicle settings. And then we're gonna show you how the reboot and two sleep cycles looks. Okay, so I think a good example of a live setting menu that we can change would be to enable the cargo cam. So by default, there's no cargo cam option on the Uconnect screen, which I can show you. Got no options in here. Got nothing here nothing here so let's head over to our vehicle settings and again you're just going to be on run the foot's not on the brake uh, you didn't start the ignition in your vehicle settings let's head over to radio and enable the cargo cam so select using the center cruise control button now i'm hitting cruise control cancel while holding down the left arrow to cycle through this menu cargo cam is not on so we're going to change that to yes now that it's on, we can use that input for some other options like an HDMI AV kit so we can stream our Amazon Fire Stick or anything like that. So now that we selected our menu, let's go down out of this menu and go to our full reboot and let's show you how that looks in the Challenger. There it is, select it. This one has a minute 50 countdown as well. And you can see this screen is shutting off on and off again. Okay, now that the reboot has gone through, let's do our sleep cycle, which means you're gonna shut off your car. You're gonna open and close your door. You're gonna wait for both of these screens to shut off. This one already shut off, that was pretty quick. Wait for this one to shut off, including the gauges. So that was actually a very quick sleep cycle. That counts as your first sleep cycle. Now we need to turn the car back on. Wait for both of these to fully turn on. This is fully on, but this is not. So this is loading up now. Wait for it to fully turn on before you do another full sleep cycle. Now that this is on, we could do our last sleep cycle by shutting off your car, opening and closing the door. Of course, the other option is to walk away from your car for a little bit, get the key away from it, let everything shut down, and then come on back in. But as you can see here, this is off. This is off, the gauges are off. That's your second sleep cycle. So now you're done. You did your vehicle change, you did your reboot, you did your two sleep cycles, which means when we turn the car back on, we should have a cargo cam option. So let's take a look. And there it is. So we didn't have this option before, and now it's available. As you can see, we actually set up our fire stick. We have another video on that, which we'll link up above. So there it is. That's how to do the full reboot and two sleep cycles in your Dodge Challenger or Charger. Of course, the Taser also applies to the Durango and the Chrysler 300. So there's a gamut of vehicles that it applies to, but we only have the Dodge Challenger at our disposal. Let's move on to the Jeep. Okay, so now we're over here at our Wrangler Rubicon 392. So let's adjust one of the vehicle settings and then do our reboot and two sleep cycles. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna change some of these. So these are our current daytime running lights. And I think what we'll do is maybe have either our fog lights or you could get the amber lights here, which is our turn signal light initiated as our daytime running light. So let's get that set up. I don't know, fog lights could be cool, but also turn signal could be cool. Okay, so the car's currently on, so I could show you the daytime running lights. So let's shut it off, and now let's go to run without putting your foot on the ignition. Now that we're in run, we could hop over to our settings. So with anything in our taser menu, we need to make sure we're on the audio menu, and we are. So let's hold down our left arrow, hit cruise cancel to start cycling through the menu. And again, we're gonna go to lighting like we did with the RAM. There's lighting, hit your center cruise control button and then hitting cruise cancel to go to our location. So as you can see right now, we have none. 
Let's do it to the turn signals. I think that would look really cool. Now when you activate your turn signals, they go out and then blink normally. So let's show you how that looks. DRL location turn, which is perfect. That's what we want. We're gonna hit cruise cancel to exit the menu. We're gonna keep hitting cancel while holding down our left arrow and go all the way to full reboot. Nice and slow so you don't miss it. But there is quite a few menu options you have to go through. There's full reboot. Hit the center button to start initiating it. Now that the full reboot is done, let's shut the car off and do our sleep cycles. So with the car off, we're gonna open our door. We're gonna close our door again. This is telling the car that uh, we're leaving, we're going to sleep, so now you can go to sleep. As you can see, this screen shut off already. Now we just have to wait for this screen to shut off. This one takes a little bit of time. Great, so with that off, let's do our second sleep cycle by turning the car on. And then we're gonna turn it off again. Open and close your door. Let everything turn off. So let's head outside and see what our DRLs look like. Nice. All right, so as you can see, our turn signals are now included with our DRLs. And then when you activate a turn signal, this is what it looks like. Let's just switch that on. And it'll blink normally. And then the other one will remain on. So pretty cool. So there you have it. That's how to go about the full reboot and two sleep cycles, which is what you'll want to do anytime you adjust anything in your vehicle settings in the taser menu. As you saw, there's a gamut of things you could pick from. We did some of the lighting examples and each model, although it's very similar in the process, your menus might look a little different. That's why we did it on three separate models. If you also notice in your manual, it will mention going on a drive cycle, which is important if you're adjusting anything in your gear ratios or anything with the tires. That's gonna recalibrate the sensors. So if you found this video useful, please give us a like and be sure to subscribe. Also, if there's any other features or questions you have for us, leave it down in the comments below. If you're interested in learning more about our new pin lock feature and how it affects the gas model Jeeps opposed to the hybrid electric, watch this video here. No, really, watch it. There's nothing after this, just...